Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week 27 I think we are. So I was asked by a, um, a subscriber to um, do my spin on Septeria 18, so Sandy's project from Septeria 18. She had made these... Um, I can't remember what she called them. I'll link the video below. She made these strips um, with scrapbooking paper scraps and um, and then they had tabs on them and they were like used, she used them to decorate things. So I was asked to, um, through Facebook, to, um, to do a, my spin on them. And when I was preparing the art journals, I had all of these strips where I cut down the paper and so I just started painting them. Just had this thing, I just started painting them. So I thought they'd be really cool to mix in with um, papers, whether it's um, scrapbooking papers or um, printed digital papers or book pages or whatever you like um, to create these um, strips to decorate pages. So what I might do, I've got those ready. They're, these are just plain ones. So these were what these look like so i'll just quickly show you actually oh i didn't bring my ipad in oh well we won't time it this week I'll, I'll look at my watch when i start and then we'll then we'll time it that way um i'll probably go over time so that i just sometimes i just swished a bit of color over them um this was a cork i used a cork to do circles uh, stripes little flowers with dots some of them let's see they've stuck together um all different sort of mostly plain um to add a little bit of different colour and then I've got I just separated them into pinks and and blues really I think that's all I did so these again a bit like swatches almost went over with those paint pens ledger paper so all fairly simple sort of things um, oh gosh I must remember these and I forget that's a stencil and then some sort of aqua blues to get the idea just muck around and then this was done with just um i wanted to do more but then i didn't do any more so um just some really black and white or gray and white so that's those but i want to mix them in with um other papers so let's say uh 335 we're starting and so we'll need to stop at 420. so i have this lovely paper so what I'm going to do, where's my, I don't know where my tear ruler is. It must be here somewhere. I don't think I took it in the other room. But can I find it? No, I can't. I'll use this one. Well, no, actually, we might have straight edges. Why don't we have, do something for a change with straight edges? So I'm just going to tear a strip of that to use. And I might tear and put those separately. I should have done this before, but doesn't matter like that and we'll just grab some different papers I won't grab any book page or straw paper or anything like that because um, I've already got those painted so we don't need those but what we do need is a few maybe a few even a few printables could be good let's just see what's in this mess that's some end paper we don't want any of that. So I'm just going to move all of There's a strip. We'll put that there. We might need that one. Um, that's sticky. So I was thinking maybe the bigger ones of these. Got some other paint, like scanned painted papers. They could be good. Here's a little trim. Put that there. Oh, look. See, I've got more strips here. I had a lot of strips left over. Those haven't been painted or anything like that. So they can just sit there. And put the, that paper up there. Let's just go through here quickly. I won't be too long. Um, I might try and see what it looks like to mix in some scanned painted papers. Just a few. And then that's those throw that out so I thought it was a really um, great idea like I was really pleased to have a look at that 
so thank you for asking me i'm open to suggestions sometimes i might feel like oh no that's too hard but um i am open to suggestions oh those are good i might print rip those up and here are these this is what i wanted these ones i was thinking maybe some of these scripty ones might be good so we'll just pull out pull out a few colors like flowers there might be good one i think that'll do takes a minute to choose all your bits and pieces now they're tags i don't want those i'm just trying to get to my um here we go that's good get to my printables not that one So how is everybody today? I hope you're all well. Might use those. Um, everything's good here. It's a little bit hot, so it makes me feel a little bit sleepy. Um, but I've just been relaxing for a minute, so I'm now back in action. Something, I want patterned, patterned things. No, they're background papers. Got these. I might have to pull some out and I'd like some Florentine papers too just a sec Let's see if I've got any strips in here otherwise I've got a few larger pieces some of these will be good and I could I could leap up at any time oh here we go I've got some strips there but lots of that one um, I could leap up at any time and grab um, scrapbooking paper. I'll just keep that in here. I can't, I can't go through all of that. There's so many. Okay. So let's get started. So they were just layered up all different lengths. I've got my cutter here because I'm going to be doing it fairly straight. So um, I do have my cutter. So I guess I'm just going to take one and... Trim it down. I don't know if I want that one. I'll take this. We'll have something. I don't want it, them to be that long. So I will put the link to the video below. And so basically that's looking good. Um, you're just laying up, layering up a few bits and pieces. Get into the blues here. Yeah, just layering up a few bits and pieces. I love this with the dots. Gosh, how am I going to remember? I need to remember this because I forget what I do on things. And then kind of need to have like a catalogue. Oh, well, that's going to be good. You can see I'm going to get into a, a big mess here. So I've got three things there. What else do we need? Maybe some, some script or something would be nice. And I am doing them straight, so I'm going to just trim that one down. So you could do it all torn. All torn is also very good, as we know. I can't actually remember. I should have rewatched the video before I turned the camera on. Um, I can't actually remember exactly what Sandy did. I think I'd have that one over the top. And we could even add in... Um, some some texture at some point if we wanted to so I am going to glue those together now I'll probably um, sort of run a stitch down the center I'm thinking but I won't do that on camera because my 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 um what's it called my sewing machine is actually on the floor so I won't do that on camera so that won't be part of it. So I'm going to put that there and that. Now I'm just working these out because I, I didn't do a sample or anything like that. So 
So I've put that like that. And then I need to make a tab. And so I'll probably use my, um, they kind of look like the edge of a file folder. Now I've lost my oh, tab punch. Here it is, I found it. So I need your tab punch for this. And I'm just trying to think what I would like on here. I could have, I could do a punch with this, keep it in the blues. So let's just fold this. So I'm gonna fold that like that. Trim it off. So I can punch my tab. So you just with this this um punch you just you have to keep it if you want it to stay attached you have to keep it just below the line up there and then they come out attached and not cut so I could put this on this side here or I could put it even there I think I like it on the other side more yes so i think i'm going to glue that down there i don't want it to stick out too much so i might just put it there like that so that's the first one up hopefully they'll i'll do better with the next ones but um this is just the first so if you wanted to streamline the process you could actually we might do that we'll lay out a few different ones our, you know our starting off base so that's very blendy there and I would do a zigzag stitch down there just to um, and then let me just show you the idea I'll have to just hop up for a second the idea with those oh found another strip while I was away over there um, the idea with those was then maybe not on this journal because it's not it's not big enough but is you like for example this would be upside down here but you could attach oh that's so cool like you excuse me you would attach it here and that here and then that will flip out like that you see or i could attach it there and trim it down and attach it there and i've got a flip which i think is really 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 cool thank you so much sandy for sharing that with us i mean we know how to do these um things we do clusters and stuff like that but we this is a different spin on it like she didn't do the painted papers um as i said she used her scrapbooking papers but i think it's a very good spin and we can do other stuff so let's just lay down a few bases i'm getting excited i love new ideas well not you know well you know new ideas i say new ideas sometimes we think they're a new idea but they've been done before but it's just a different spin on it really different um way of approaching um so and it may or maybe it's something similar but it just really gets you going and and i find that really really exciting i get excited when there's as you guys know when there's new ideas i'll do some really long ones and some short ones i think so i'm going to lay down some different bases whether they be um plain or i think i'll trim that one down i'll just eyeball it trim that off do that one and we'll do a short one with the painted paper so we've got five here so this might become very confusing doing working on five and i'll have to move those up there so you guys can see what i'm doing and i don't even know what i'm doing yet oh so i've got this painted paper and i'm already thinking that i'd like that on there so i'm going to tear it down just a little bit because i don't want to cover up completely my um base because it's lovely and painted so I might put that there because I'm going to attach my tab on this side I'm thinking and what else can we put we can put a strip of script have that coming out of the bottom might slide that over there so yeah a lot of the base will be covered I don't want to cover those just a minute I'll work it out don't worry so that can go there and I'll stop on that one for a minute and we'll move on to another one um i probably shouldn't stand them up so let's see what's up in some of this paper and i might even just rip it down this way 
even though, though the painting's going in the other direction. I'll tear it down that way and I could have that on there or on quite like it on there. I might just strip, rip it down a little bit more. Okay, keep that. See, that's a good little bit to use. So I like mixing the um, the painted, the real, you know, the actual painted papers with the printed painted papers. I think that's fun. Got a bit of this. You want a bit of this? Cut it. I'm wanting to rip it. Put that one under there, and it is double sided. That one, so that one could even overhang. I like that. And I'm just going to cut these two bits off here. I don't want those where the painting ended. I think I'll just, oops. You can tell I'm, I'm making it up as I go. Okay, so that's that. Then we've got this base here and what will we, oh, we've got to have a wide one here. That will glue down, we'll do that one next. Um, what about some pink? That's a nice base, that one. So I need something a bit narrower. Here we go. No. So what about if we put this one on that one? That's good. Put that on there. And... See, they, I had leftover pieces of, um, you know, mixed media paper, art paper, um, watercolour paper. So you could have that sort of peeking out the side. Um, hmm, don't mind that. I'm going to tear a little bit off here, just because it was very crooked. It's, I mean, I didn't do it so straight there. I didn't want to, I'm going to do that, something like that. I didn't want to completely cover up the writing. And I can trim them down too, as I go, if I feel like they're too, too big. Um... piece of this I nearly forgot about my um, my what's it called this paper as well this is pretty I'm wondering if maybe I'd like to put that. I'm going to put that there, then this. Yes, okay, so that's that one. Let's just glue that one down and get it out of the way. And then we'll put tab, we'll figure out the tabs once I've prepared a few of them. Have them at different heights too, not all at the same height. I would like something like this a little oh yes a little piece of this and this is just with um, pen with a black like Posca pen or yeah black a paint pen like a Posca pen that's really cool I really like that and this one I'm going to put the tab on that side but let's just put it aside as I said before and then we'll decide what to put on it so that I don't get confused here. So let's see, I'm not convinced about this one, so I think I'm gonna switch it out and find something else. 
I've even got bits with right. Oh, I like that. Now that's way too long. Now what am I going to do here? I guess I could trim them down in half. Could be cool. I have a bit of this, I think, because the colours are good. Even though you normally use this to back things because there's a bit of writing space. And I think I'll just trim that down. Let's think about this. I might even trim it in half once I've done it and get two two smaller ones. So that's going to go there and I need something else. Do I want something painted? Um, oh, I am going to definitely get into a, oh I like that one. I'm definitely going to get myself into a big mess here. So be ready for it. If you don't like mess, this may not be the video for you. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, so let's glue this down. I'm going to make sure I get glue. Um, I'll put the glue on the wrong spot. Just a minute. I'll just glue it all. It won't overhang very much. Put that on there. Then what did I have? I had this one. Do I want any script? I could have some script if I can find it. Not script, you know what I mean, like book page. I might like a little bit of book page peeking out. No, it's not big enough, that book page. Wait just a minute. Any other book page there? Am I lucky enough? Mm, oh, I've got, no, that won't show up. Okay, no. Okay, we won't put any book page. that there and then I'm going to get my cutter you're probably thinking don't do it but I'm not going to have a journal that big so I'm just going to cut it in half and I'm going to have two and I like those and they for example um, Sandy showed just say this was going to be like a, a pocket or a journal card you can then put them on like that so you can use them to decorate things Okay, still got, I haven't done anything with that one. Okay, I like the writing on this one. I could have this like that. Oh, feeling really hot. It's just that time of the day when it's really hot. About this piece here. This has lots of colours on it. Wait, I just want to get rid of that bit there. So maybe instead of that one, I'm going to use this one here. Oh, I love that. That's it. Okay. So if you've got anything overhanging, you don't want to put glue on that bit of your strip. So this is going to overhang a little bit. So because it's white on the other side, if I decide to have that overhanging a page, then I will cover up the back. So we're going to make a few, hopefully. Slide that down there like that. And if these are too big, then I can just cut them and make them smaller. See, I've got that there. So if that's going to overhang on a page, then I need to cover that bit up. But I can just grab like a rant, like even something like that, and just stick it down. And that would cover it up, sort of thing. So I'll put that one aside. And then just have a little look at this one. I was liking this one. I'm going to put down this, actually I might just run my glue down the centre here. 
of that because it's you know longer I'm gonna put that there I could even cut that little bit off I'm gonna put this oh I didn't put it over enough just a second just slide it over it's just glue stick I you, you have a little bit of maneuver room with glue stick because um, I don't want to cover totally that edge up I want anything else I don't think I want that see these these little patterns are really nice I should do I need to do more of those I won't have enough dots not that one Okay, well, I'm going to leave that for a second. We'll put that one aside. We've got this one to do. Uh, and so this is quite small. Um, so let's just have a look at what... So I'm going to have a look in here and see if, what papers that goes. Okay, so let's just trim down that. Don't want it to be... Although they can be a bit wide. They don't have to be narrow. But I did like the way Sandy did the, the strips. And I probably would like a little bit of something like maybe a little bit of music peeking out. And there's more on that side. So we could have music there. You can see a bit of the painted paper behind, but not much. And don't want that. Now maybe that's too much. Maybe a little piece of this. Because it's narrower. Put that there. That, yes, that's better. So I can see a bit more of my background peeking out. and Or I could have that more over that side. But then I like the... I left that on there on purpose. That there. Or maybe I could go like that have a smaller one yes I'm going to glue those down so let's just put some glue on here because I will stitch as I said so I don't need to worry too much about my gluing so a variety of papers um, especially strips of all widths and all lengths <coughs> excuse me so we've got that and then just let's see, and I like that. I'm going to cut that. And will I put it there, or I think I'm just going to put it there, I think, lined up with the straw paper. Maybe just slightly overhang. Oh, I love these. Okay, so let's bring them back and we'll finish these ones off before we move on because they've now become uh, six because I cut one in half, two in half. Okay, so another thing that I was thinking, I've got to itch my eye, I've got itchy eye, just a sec. Okay, another thing I was thinking that would be cool to put on them, and where are they? Oh, they're in the other room. Oh, what a goose. They're in the other room, I think. Oh dearie me. Hmm. That's okay, I've got Tracy ones. I was looking for my labels, but they're in the other room. I don't know. Oh, I did them when I was packaging up the my orders the other day. I needed the labels, my labels to write on them. So what about if we put I mean, Sherry, you're just gonna flop on the floor, I know, because you're thinking how could you possibly insert a little label on these teeny tiny things that just don't even need a label? But you know what? Everything needs a label. I'm putting a label on them. 
and I'm oh, so, look. I've got. I even got my glue in my overflowing basket. I could empty it out, but you know, don't know what's holding me back from emptying out my basket. But there it is. Give these a little snipperoo. You can always put a Tracy label on everything. Honestly, they are the best. I was going to put a stamped one on, but, um, you know, one of each, but I don't have them here. So I guess I could stamp one, but I don't want to pull even more stuff out. So let's put these on. And we've got to put a tab on because that's part of it. The tab is a necessity because that's part of it. And it's one of the things that I really liked about what Sandy did because it made them look like they were little pieces of... Um, what are they called? File folders. So put that there. So I'll just do that. And then I just wanted to see if I wanted to put anything on any of these. So you could even put a little bird on them or butterflies on them. But I don't want my birds to be overhanging. So I have to see, for example, I love that. So I might even put that bird on there. I might. I say I might because I might not. That one, I'd have to chop off his tail. Which is not, I mean, he's not he's not alive, so I could chop off the tail if I wanted to. You can put flowers up them. I love that, the colours of that bird on there. Let's do those two. We'll do those two with birds. And then we'll, and in the next round, we'll have a look at flowers. How about that? So I want to say it was, I, can't I wrote down who asked me and I can't find the piece of paper. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I really thought it was such a great suggestion. I really couldn't wait. I'm going to have to do it. Wait, I'll slide it over so I don't have to snip off the beak. But the tail, well, the tail can be, no, I have to snip off the tail. Actually, I'm going to snip off this bit of paper too that's got a bit of a border on it. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. It will survive. So what I'll have to do in a video this week is maybe use these a little bit. Um, maybe not so much the long ones unless I cut them down. I'm going to slide the bird right over to the edge so there's not too much of the bird coming off. Just any tiny bit. Just the branch. Okay, that's those. Now we need tabs for them all. So, <laughs> so with this one, I could stick a tab on either side, and I'm thinking I might stick it on this side. Yeah. So let's think, what type of tab will I put on? Let's see if I've got any already. I've moved them. Where are they? Oh, here they are. I don't have many of these types punched out. Let's just have a look at this one. I like the writing side. Maybe, no, that blends in, but it might go well on this one. No, blends in. Okay. Put that aside. I don't have too many punched out here. So I could, I don't want to use a whale towel because you could use a whale towel, but I want to, um, I want them to look like file, like file, file folders. So what would be really good is a piece of music paper if I had some. Also, don't have any. What about a piece of? Um, gosh, I'm hot. Sorry, guys. What about a piece of this paper? Though I was going to use that, wasn't I? I could take an end. I could take the end off this. Why don't I take the end of that? Because that's a very big piece. 
fold that and punch my tab out. Now there may be a bit of faffing in this video because I haven't done this before. There you go, I'm not going to muck around, I'm going to punch it. So that's going on that blue one. Oh, actually, I'll flip it around. That side's better. I like this side more. So that's going to go on there. Maybe even up here a bit higher. Okay, cool. And then here. What will we have on there? Maybe script. Okay, let's slide that in there. It should be enough. Just refusing to go in. There we go. Okay. So that one's going to go on there. Oh yeah, I really like that. I think I will, after this set, make some more smaller ones because that will have to go on a really big side of a page or flap or something like in a, um, in a, you know, um, when you do, do it with the, the boxes sort of thing. And I'm thinking I might, no, I don't like that on there and I don't like it on there and not on there. So that one's no good. Okay, so these, I don't think I'm going to put anything on these ones. I'm just going to put a pretty tab if I can figure out what I want to put on. Let's have a look. That, mm, will I do that one? Or maybe something. I think I like that more. So I'll just cut a strip down there. Hold that over. So you could punch a whole lot before you start of these. If you don't have a um, one of these punches, you could just trace around a file folder and cut them out by hand. It's a bit, you know, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer to do, but you can do that. And I, I just bought that tab punch on Amazon. I just looked up tab punch. It's by We Are Memory Keepers, if anybody's searching for one. And put that. Oops, I tucked it under. That one there. Okay, now I could have a tab out of this. Sticky bits, chuck them over there. I'm in a bit of a mess. Is that a surprise? I've got a bit of a mess in here. I do like those colours with this painted paper. So I think I'm going to cut down here and I'll get two. One for each. If I can get in the thing. Come on, stop mucking around. Oh my word. I am the worst. Or maybe I need. I don't need to trim it down. Don't you dislike it when the equipment doesn't cooperate? I'm going to cut down here first. I'm just seeing where I'm getting some leaves. Oops, and it moved. 
Come on. One. Oh my goodness, it just keeps moving. Two. And I might get one out of here as well while I'm still tucked in the machine. No, I'm not going to mess around with it. It's driving me bananas. I wish you'd just get in there. Okay, can I do it? No, I give up. I'll do that another day. So let's just glue these on. Which way is my writing? I'm going to have one here, I think. So one there, and then one I'll do, I think I'll do this one on the painted side, yeah, in a different spot. So there, and then this one, we need to do something with this. I'm just thinking if I would like something else on there or not. Oops, sorry, that was the glue. It rolled off the table onto the floor. No. No. Okay. I think I'll just put a pretty tab on it. So, what do I have? What would look nice? Maybe navy blue. Do some that navy blue tab. I wonder if I can get two. I don't think so. I can only get one from this one, but that's okay. I'll do a, a different type of punch. Like just rip it for another type of tab. Okay, so that's that one. We'll have a look at them afterwards. Next, grab this. Start with some music paper. And some dots. Okay, three different types. Definitely like those together, but I don't depends what else I put under it. I love that. I was gonna make some smaller ones, wasn't I? Um, well no, just a minute. Let's find some smaller pieces. Smaller pieces. So switch that one out with that. Oh let's do these three. Do these. Take that away. I need small stuff. Smaller stuff. Okay. 
I might cut that down like so. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to put that one on there and I'm going to have some of this. Oh, I love those colours. Just like that, this one. Okay. It's sounding a bit stormy. Like I heard a little rumble. I think it was... Um, I think it was thunder. It won't rain. It, it just it just make, means it's just going to be hot and humid. That's all. That's how it is. It's just going to stay hot and humid. Put that there. So you could put textile on. But I haven't brought any over. Oh, I like this piece. Could we have a little piece of that? Put that there. Okay. Now this one, and this one I think I might do probably a navy blue tab, but I need to get a bigger piece. Oh, I could do a tab with that. Oh, I'm going to do a tab with that. So I need to cut it, fold it over. This is on, I think this was on a mixed media paper. Get it in this silly machine. Go on. In you go. Thank you. Whoops. Yeah, I like that. And then you can just leave them like that. And then um, at a later date, when you put them in somewhere, you can then decide if you want to add something. I think this might be one of my favourites. Okay. Next. So I probably wouldn't tend to put ledger paper on top of ledger paper, but I might grab like this blue, painted over blue map. I don't want to cover all of my, all of the writing. Put that there like that, even though they're similar colour to each other. Um, do I want that one? No. Could have a piece of this. Let's just have a look at this. that up there. Yep, I think I'm going to do that and I need to find something else to go on there. Oh, it's already time's up. Oh, gosh, that flew. Time is up. It's 4.22. Oh, I can't believe that. Time is up. I was having so much fun. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, well, I'm going to finish this one at least and maybe another one. So these are the finished ones over here. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. I must have faffed about a little bit. I'm going to put that up there. Oh, that's upside down. Good, because I liked that bit. I wanted to be able to see that bit. So, of course, they can be squares. They don't all have to be... Or maybe I'll put it... No, up there. They don't all have to be long, narrow strips. They can be whatever sort of geometrical shape that you decide. And let's see what else we have on the table do like that no it's 
It's one of my favourites, that one. Oh, I like this too. But no. Put that. Let's put that on there. I want to rip it, but we're cutting. I keep wanting to go and rip it. Okay, and that's those little typed pages, just in little strips. And then we need a tab. Maybe something like this. Now, I haven't used any of this. Just get it in there. And then I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, let's put that there. I might have liked it more down there, but anyway, it's stuck on now because it kind of blends in but it is what it is so put that one there and I'd like to do something with this one that no not that that just try a few things see what we find maybe you like these colors Oh, navy blue. I'll just tear it. Where's my ruler? I can't find it. It's here somewhere. I've lost my ruler. Okay, I'll just get my cutter. I like that. Okay, lock it in. Oh, I like that side more. Oh, no, I like that side. That's all right. So put some glue on there. So you do get into a bit of a mess with this. It's not neat and tidy. So I've got that. I still feel like it needs maybe a little bit of something else. Not that. It's not neat and tidy. No, it's not. Oh, I like that. But you know what I'm going to do? I might, if I can find a pen some marks on it. I think I had some that had marks on them. I've got that one. Getting in a mess. I've got that one. I only had those two but they're a bit... No, I want this one. I like the colour of this. I'll put it Maybe there or smaller. I'm going to grab what pen? Um, 
How thick is this one? That's a number five. I want more than a number five. Oh, that's nice and thick. That's not that thick, actually. I think I might just do stripes. Yeah. Okay, and then where are my flowers? Not those flowers. These. I just want to see if I, if I like a flower or not. I might not. I kind of do like that. Blends in. I think maybe I'll just keep it simple. I like the yellow. I do like the yellow. Let's just see when I decide on a tab how that all looks. So that, and then I need a tab. Now over here I've just got some plain painted papers. I don't think I want to do pink. I don't want to do blue. Oh, this. So I just did splotches on the book page with my um, with my paintbrush. I can get two out of this one. So that way I can tell, do I like it with or without? Half my time has been mucking around with this silly machine. And the paper sticking to my finger and making it go crooked. Okay, so I could have it on that side and I do like that. Or I like it more on that side. Do I like it with? I wish you could tell me. With? Without? Or with? I think I'm going to leave it without. And then I can decide at the time when I decide to use it. I think I like it on this side. It adds a bit of interest on that side. Okay. Okay. So, let's just have a look. Sorry about the mess. So these two I didn't complete in the time frame, but I've done them afterwards. Really cool. Um, let me just grab the journal again. So, just pretend that's not there. This is an incomplete journal. Um, they can go on the edge of a page like that. So it could be a tuck or you could just glue it down as a decoration and then you'd have the little tab sticking out the side. Or if you have, like see this is a shorter page, you can add that to lengthen the page. It just adds a bit of interest. Um, or if you've got like a folded page, not this one, this one, for example, would, oh isn't that pretty, I, might, I liked that. Um, this could go on here and then that's your flip out and I think that is super pretty so that's the kind of use for them but then um, Sandy also um, like just say she had I've got this incomplete piece here so this was going to be like a journal card so maybe you've got a let's see what other ones we have so so we look at them again um, that's a long one so just say you've got this not that one this one um, it can go on, not on, not with this particular style, but this one could go on there as a tab sort of thing. That's not particularly coordinating with that one. On there, um, you, know, you can extend your journal cards and things like that with the tab, or you could, you know, glue it down onto a journal card. 
like so, and it can be another tuck on the journal card or on a pocket. It could glue down, be glued down on as a pocket on the on the journal page. So there's many uses for them, and I just thought they were a bit of fun. It makes things look like they're a firefold. That would that one's really long. That one have to be trimmed down, I think. So maybe there and there. That will be it, sort of thing. Um, and then there's this one. So you can add birds and butterflies and flowers. And I've lost my flower. I've shoved it over here somewhere, just to give you the idea, an idea of what I'm thinking. And I've lost it. And that was the perfect flower because it was long and narrow. I'll have to tidy up my mess now. Let's see if we can find it, just quickly. I've had you here nearly an hour, I think. I'll keep you here for another hour searching for the flower. How about that? Here it is, right in front of my face. It flipped over. So, for example, that's very pretty on there with the blues. So a nice, long, narrow flower is really cute as well because it doesn't cover up all of your nice background that you've created. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was a request and um, they're pretty well glued down even I don't even like you don't even have to stitch them if they're well glued down um, but otherwise just a line of stitching down there would be fine a zigzag if you don't want to go over the bird miss it I need to glue the beak down there um, yeah but so much fun and we, another idea with your scraps of paper um, put do a little bit of painting on them just geometric random painting love the colors of those and you can get the colors that you want you you know you're creating your own colors not being told what colors you have to do by the paper other papers the printed papers so there we go so i hope you enjoyed that these are i don't know what we'll call them i'll have a look what sandy called them they're my take on her plastery tacky things scrappy plastery tacky tacky uh, taggy tabby things i want to say so i hope you're having a great day and you enjoyed this project i had a lot of fun and time flew and i will see you again soon bye